High capacity airflow diffusers are used in various commercial and industrial applications where efficient air distribution and high airflow rates are required. These diffusers are designed to handle large volumes of air and are suitable for spaces with high ceilings or areas that demand significant ventilation, cooling, or heating. We'll first look at those factors that affect the throw distance of a jet diffuser. In this chart the throw distance for a ceiling-mounted jet diffuser is shown for isothermal conditions, that is where the temperature of the air leaving the diffuser and the room temperature are basically the same. The vertical throw is 27 feet. If the air was colder than the ambient air by 20 degrees Fahrenheit it would reach 38 feet, which is much greater than at isothermal conditions. If the air was in heating mode and was 40 degrees Fahrenheit greater than the ambient air, then our throw distance would be shortened to 12 feet. It's important to know the effects of location on the throw. In this chart using one manufacturer's data for jet diffusers, the angle of throw is shown to affect the distance. At 0 degrees the air will be thrown 84 feet. If the angle of the air is changed to 22 degrees, then the air will only achieve 59 feet of distance. By increasing the angle again to 45 degrees, the air will spread out wider and throw at half the distance of that at 0 degrees, giving a total distance of 42 feet. Check the manufacturer's literature for correction factors to the listed performance values, as the charts can be based on isothermal conditions, 0 degrees of deflection, whether there is a ceiling, and the distance of the diffuser below the ceiling. Also affected by deflection is pressure drop. As the angle of deflection is increased, so is the pressure drop through the jet diffuser. In this chart the relationship between velocity, drop and throw distance are compared. This scenario will be different per manufacturer, diffuser location, deflection angles and whether there is a ceiling. This example is intended to get you thinking about the factors that are important to consider. At a velocity of 100 feet per minute the air will drop 3 feet and reach 12 feet in distance. At a velocity of 500 feet per minute, the air will drop 7 feet, with a throw of 20 feet. At a velocity of 1000 feet per minute, the air will drop 6 feet, and reach 30 feet in throw distance. And finally with a velocity of 1500 feet per minute, the air drops 5 feet and reaches 35 feet in distance. The greater the velocity, the greater the throw distance. The throw distance is affected by the location of the ceiling as shown in this chart. We now have what is called the Coanda effect, the tendency of the air to follow the adjacent ceiling surface, allowing for greater throw distances. Now with a velocity of 100 fpm the air only drops 1 foot but reaches 19 feet. At 500 fpm, the drop is 8 feet with a 28 foot distance. At 1000 fpm, the air drops 7 feet and reaches 42 feet, and finally a velocity of 1500 fpm, sees the air drop 6 feet with a throw of 50 feet. What we learned here is that the throw distance is affected by many factors including location, angle of throw, velocity and whether there is a ceiling. Some common locations where high-capacity air diffusers are used include 1. Airports, in large airport terminals, high-capacity diffusers like jet diffusers are often used to efficiently distribute conditioned air over long distances and maintain comfortable indoor environments for travelers and staff. 2. Museums and exhibition halls, these spaces often have high ceilings and require precise air distribution to preserve artworks and artifacts. High capacity diffusers with long throw capabilities and adjustable airflow patterns are commonly employed in these settings. 3. Theaters and auditoriums, venues with a large seating capacity, like theaters and auditoriums, need effective airflow distribution to ensure the comfort of the audience. High-capacity diffusers help maintain consistent temperatures and air quality throughout these spaces. 4. Large retail stores, in big-box retail stores or shopping malls, where the open layout and high ceilings can lead to challenges in uniform air distribution, high-capacity diffusers are utilized to achieve proper ventilation and cooling. 5. Convention centers, convention centers often host large gatherings and events and high-capacity diffusers are used to handle the substantial airflow requirements in these vast spaces. 6. Industrial facilities. Certain industrial facilities require high-capacity ventilation and air distribution to control temperature, humidity, and air quality. 
High capacity diffusers are used in these settings to maintain the desired environmental conditions. 7. Gyms and sports facilities. Spaces with high occupant density and intense physical activities can benefit from high capacity diffusers to ensure efficient ventilation and cooling. Large capacity air diffusers work and are an essential part of efficient HVAC systems in various commercial and industrial settings. These diffusers are designed to handle high airflow rates and distribute conditioned air effectively in large open spaces. They play a crucial role in maintaining thermal comfort, indoor air quality, and energy efficiency. Styles of high-capacity airflow diffusers can vary based on their design, installation method, and intended application. Some common styles include 1. Jet diffusers The primary purpose of a jet diffuser is to deliver a high-velocity jet of air over long distances. The diffuser's design should ensure a sufficient throw distance to reach the desired target areas within the space effectively. Some jet diffusers have adjustable nozzles or vanes, allowing users to modify the direction and spread of the airflow. This adjustability is valuable for optimizing the air distribution pattern based on specific room layouts and occupancy changes. They are available in various configurations, including round, rectangular, and linear designs. Here is the performance table of a ring nozzle diffuser. We can see when the size of the diffuser gets larger, so does the diffuser's ability to handle more CFM and throw the air much further. We a duct velocity of 1,000 feet per minute, 8-inch diffusers can provide 349 CFM and a throw of 24 feet maximum, while a 16-inch diffuser can handle 1,396 CFM with a throw of 48 feet maximum, 4 times the CFM, and twice the distance. 2. Linear slot diffusers Linear slot diffusers provide a long, continuous opening for air distribution. They are available in various lengths and configurations, making them suitable for many different applications. 3. Displacement ventilation systems. These systems are designed to supply conditioned air at low velocities near the floor level without significant induction of room air. The cooler supply air forms a stable, stratified layer that displaces the warmer air upward, resulting in a distinct separation of supply and room air, allowing the warm air to rise, and be expelled at the ceiling. These can be used in a raised floor system for office spaces, or in high traffic public areas like airports these systems will be hidden in architectural features like the ticketing or baggage check-in counter, or under an escalator. The diffusers will blend in with the overall aesthetic so as to avoid visual disruptions. See our video on underfloor air distribution. 4. Induction Displacement Diffusers Induction displacement diffusers supply conditioned air at low velocities near the floor level, inducing room air into the supply air stream. The entrainment of room air creates a mixed supply air stream, which then rises and displaces the warmer air at the ceiling level. The specific style of high-capacity air diffusers used in a particular setting depends on factors such as the HVAC system design, architectural requirements, and the desired air distribution pattern for the space. Computational Fluid Dynamics, CFD, is a powerful tool that can be used to improve the performance of airflow design for airport terminals or large open spaces. CFD simulations enable engineers to model and analyze the behavior of airflows within the terminal space, providing valuable insights for optimizing the airflow design. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.